right, so this says, in order to determine the effect of PRB on tumor growth, tumor cells containing no PRB, RB negative, negative, basal levels of PRB, basal PRB, whatever, okay, or additional amounts of PRB induced PRB were injected into mice. Tumor cell growth was measured at 11 days post graph. Which graphic shows the expected result of this experiment? Okay, so we do need to tell whether PRB is going to be like pro-tumor or not from all of this stuff over here. So it's saying PRB may also play a role in mitochondrial apoptosis. Do you think that higher levels on this graph means it's more or less likely to have cancer? Because that's kind of going to determine whether, yeah. you know, which one of these is. Yeah, so I think there's a general decrease basically, right? So I'm seeing the uh, BAX minus and PRB basal and PRB induced, right? Those are the two key factors right there. But I believe the, because in wild type, you're seeing that the third, the fourth graph, the positive thing is like really high and it's reducing. So if you're doing, dealing with BAX instead of BAC, I think it should be reducing, not increasing. Okay. Yeah, so when you have PRB present, though, because yeah. because what this question is asking us to do is determine whether the presence of PRB is going to make the tumor grow or not, more or less, right? Most people are going to interpret, okay, if we have higher apoptosis, that means that this PRB is more likely to cause a tumor if it's present. And that's actually the opposite of the case, because in tumors, the thing about tumors is they want to, in one of the key things that a cell line needs to do in order to successfully become a cancer, to become a tumor, is it needs to be able to inhibit its all of its regulatory pathways that would otherwise lead to apoptosis. So if we look at all of these graphs right here, we see that the cases where PRB is induced, right, the, the gray graphs, the lighter colored ones, are for the most part, at least in the wild type, higher than their darker cores, their darker counterparts, meaning that these cells have more levels of PRB and therefore more apoptosis. And so that means that PRB is likely to cause apoptosis, which means it's likely to make it more difficult for a cell to cause a cancer. So what I'm going to predict here is that the cells that have no PRB present over here in the answer choice, right? So the PRB knockouts are going to have, are going to have higher tumor, tumor volume and the cells with PRB in, induced meaning high levels of PRB are going to have the lower tumor volume. So just okay. right off the bat, what I'm looking at here, I would say here, and I don't have the answer to this, I would say C is probably right here because the cells that don't have PRB are going to basically get cancer, right? And the cells that do have PRB are going to be inhibited from getting cancer. So I'm going to say C is correct in this. In this yep, and that is correct, actually. Okay, do you have, yeah, I was going to say, do you have all the answers? Yeah, I have the keys, yep. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, so you're quizzing me today then, huh? I no, that. I'm not. That's, that was, <laughs> so was, you guys give me no answers. answers. <laughs> That's fine. No, so I'll, I'll, no, the funny part is, you'll, you'll see that in just a moment. Uh, remember how I told you we were working for the answers or whatever? So yeah. the first passage, passage eight, is the only one that we could not get through before time. Everything mm -hmm. else past that has answers, so we should be fine. <laughs> okay, gotcha. Uh, I mean, it's it's totally fine, honestly. Like I, sh yeah. I should be able. I was just scrolling down and looking. Okay, yeah. I mean, I sh I should be able to get all the answers right. You know, like that's yeah, kind of like my whole shtick. That's my job. So. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> yeah, so. uh, uh, the other thing is, can you just go back, going back again, like quickly? How did you tie back the option C? Was like what told you that that's where it was heading towards? Yeah. So so the thing the thing with this is what we're comparing here. Seeing so, you know, all these other graphs, we're comparing cell apoptosis so percentage of cells that have that have had programmed cell death occur we're right. comparing that versus all these various different factors okay and we can see right. that the different colored graphs like the gray ones are the ones that have higher levels of prb right? right and so we see that we get more apoptosis when we have more prb right. okay and so given the fact that we get more apoptosis when we have more prb i'm going to predict that tumor volume is actually lower when we have more prb reason for that is because tumors want to suppress things that are going to cause apoptosis that's how they that's how their growth yeah. becomes uncontrolled right exactly and so so then i looked at these three cell lineages and this one so the rb negative negative this yeah. one has no capacity to produce prb right and that's how they define these up here in the question then they said tumor cells containing no prb rb negative negative and then right. gave me basal prb and they define basal prb over here in the passage Basal PRB is defined as just like baseline levels of PRB, normal PRB, versus then induced PRB, which they define in the passage as greater than basal levels of PRB. So what I would expect is 
those would be the cells with the least tumor volume, right? Because they've got the greatest propensity to have apoptosis. And then the cells with the middle, the basal PRB, baseline, normal PRB, those would have like the midline tumor volume. And then the ones that have no PRB, that means that they've right. got no regulatory mechanisms or no checks on uncontrolled cell growth. And so they're going to, the tumor volume is going to get massive because they don't have the capacity to check tumor volume by triggering apoptosis. Okay. So this graph is basically like inverse of what you would expect in the graph over here in the passage, because the graph in the passage is graphing apoptosis and we would expect tumor, tumor volume to be inverse of apoptosis rate. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Okay, cool, Thank perfect. You. Oh yeah, yeah, no, no worries.